Hello, all of my friends. I am Lori Baracco, and I welcome you to my predictions for the week of October 27th, 2024. And for this last week of October, um, these are the predictions that I have for you, and I've been using the Trick or Treat Tarot by Barbara Moore. All righty. So I do want to point out before I go into my predictions that here at the shop, we have an extensive collection of cards of oracle cards and tarot cards we have over 200 decks and the unique thing that i want to point out is that we have demos for these decks this way when you come in you can browse through the decks ask some questions and see if the messages the imagery and the little guidebook that comes with it to see if it resonates so um, that's a little extra perk that we have at the shop here um, in Benita. And so if you're shopping online, I'm sorry, I don't have demo decks there, but you'll be able to see the photos of the, um, the tarot and oracle decks in the online store. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got a card from the front, the middle, oh, and the middle. So I've, I grabbed three, one from the front and two from the middle. So the first one we have is the Emperor Reversed. Then we have the Five of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Wands. So this, you know, the interpretation of the Emperor Reverse can go a couple different ways. And in this instance, I'm going to say, Spirit is advising us to use more effort to be more proactive than sit back and wait. Sometimes the message is to hang tight, it'll all come together, just you know, keep yourself in alignment, keep yourself busy and try not to second guess what's going on. This week, I felt like the message is like, get on out there, you need to be more proactive, take action, get involved and tweak things where things are not flowing. You might need to revise a few things. It's like having a recipe, right, from scratch. And so you're, you're a lot within the process of mixing and creating this dish, at some point you do need to taste it to see if it tastes right, if you have the right amounts of salt or sugar or carrots or whatever it is that you sometimes need to get in there and have that experience for yourself and take a little bit of a sample and then tweak it as you move along. So that is that message for this week. The emperor reversed is saying that, hey, you're not being proactive as you could be, right? You're kind of maybe being a little lazy or just wishing or hoping and setting your intentions with your manifestations. Spirit says, that's not gonna work this week. And then we had that five of wands, which shows us a little bit of strife. And so maybe we're channeling our energies in a place that's not really making a difference, right? That things are kind of plateaued. So why would we waste our time and energy with our efforts? And then we had that seven of wands, which is another action card. So let's get on out there. Let's be proactive and get into the mix of things so that we can help carry our intentions forward. And sometimes our efforts, you know, feel like, well, gosh, why am I even bothering? And this is so much work. I think that this week we do need to do the prep work and to get in there, to take control, to own what's taking place as well, whether it's working out or not take some responsibility all right have a beautiful week my friends and don't forget the veil is very thin at this time so the connection to the other side is magnified get your journal out light a candle to connect with your loved ones and be open to the messages that you will be receiving and have been receiving thank you so much for tuning in each and every week i am Lori baracco namaste bye-bye